This is Windows 11 tabs, this is Windows 10 tabs. We're going to take a look at early tab feature known as sets in Windows 10 and do a slight comparison to Windows 11. Right off the bat, the tab function known as sets is not available, since it's a beta build of Windows 10 and this feature is actually hidden. We need to use Mac 2, the predecessor of Vive tool for Windows 10. And after enabling it, each time we are opening any UWP app, it opens in the tab behavior as you can see on the title bar. So far, opening UWP apps such as Microsoft Store, Settings, Calculator, as well as Alarms and Clock makes the tab or sets function really useful. You can close the tab by clicking the close button on each tab. Each tab has its own icon and text to indicate each applications that are open in that tab. And you can also open the new tab with this button. In this case, it directly opens Microsoft Edge Legacy tab. Comparing it to the Windows 11's tab system, it's not that different other than the design-wise with Windows 11 leans to the new Mika design rather than 2018 flown design system in Windows 10. Oh wait, is it only supports UWP apps? What about non-UWP applications? Well, here it is, File Explorer, Notepad, Command Prompt, and PowerShell. From here, we can notice that the difference between Windows 10's tabs and Windows 11's tab, as Windows 11 only supports tab from one application such as File Explorer, Terminal, Notepad, and Microsoft Edge, instead of this build which unifies applications into one single tab system. Pretty amazing! As for keyboard shortcuts, you can use Control Windows Tab for switching tab forward, Control Windows Shift Tab for switching tab backwards, Control Windows T for the new tab, and Control Windows W for closing the current tab. This keyboard shortcut is actually quite the same as what any browser or tab based app would do. The difference is that this is universal for Windows, so it adds Windows key as one of the required keyboard combination shortcut to clear out any confusion whatsoever. Again, as far as we can see, this feature seems to be very useful, right, with the unified system? Well, let's just say, kind of. Because this is still in the very early implementation in build 17.618, there are some limitations on the road. First up, Win32 app support. Do you know how many applications that are supported in this build? Drum roll, please. Four. What are they? Well, those four apps that I mentioned and showed earlier are the only supported Win32 applications for now, at least in this build. As I tried WordPad, Paint, and Registry Editor didn't join the tab system. And also, I installed WinRAR, 7zip, and Abbey Word as the third-party software doesn't seem to hang out with the tabbed window. And also, to add layers to the iceberg, you have to use Control or press the Control key while opening supported application to make it open in a new tab. Otherwise, it will open in a new window. And aside from graphical glitches while switching the tab due to the fact that the title bar in each tab is basically stacked below the tab system, you can't reorder the tab as what we can in Windows 11, as doing so in here is just going to separate the current tab from the current window. Drag and drop support, basically. Oh, but can I join a tab from other window? The answer is no. Of course not. You can't. See? Well, you can't do that for this time around. Whilst the tab feature is already properly implemented as far as back as Windows 10 18.03 beta build, it still has to comply with some standard tab behavior, such as reordering tab, proper drag and drop support, certain actions such as close to the right, Close other tabs and much more, unlike in Windows 11, which already implemented some standard tab behavior, albeit some is still in development for now. Take this as a grain of salt, as next view is going to implement more things to the sets feature. The video is on the screen if it is available now. If not, then check out this leaked better build of Windows 11. Meanwhile, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for my support on Patreon and YouTube for making this video possible, and also don't forget to check out this video for sure.